I'm Rufus Musser from Milton Creamery. I, I do know how to make cheese, I have made cheese, but at this point, I'm a marketer. I love dealing with the people. We were dairy farmers, me and the family were dairy farmers in a prior life, and I missed the people side of it. The cows were great, and it's all good, but we need everybody, and my passion is meeting the people, getting to see what happens out there in the larger world, and turning them on to good food. I'm with you on that. So, and then uh, what, what's new in my life at this point is working with people. You know, and just, it goes in all directions at all times. We're very involved with the Cheesemakers Resource Conference that gets, happens in New Holland, Pennsylvania. January or February, this coming year, it's I believe the 12th and the 13th of February in New Holland. We have a cheese, cheese makers resource conference that I'm very involved with in planning and making it happen. That's just for cheese makers or do you have other people involved? It, it's other people involved also. It's not just cheese makers, but it's more related to beginning. Sometimes this cheese making thing can become very, very intimidating as you get out and about. You st all of a sudden there's a big world, everybody knows more than you do as if you're a beginner. beginner. We try to reach out to experts from all aspects of the cheese industry and work with those people coming in and teaching courses. One on, we have one-on-ones and just drill down. It's a two-day conference. So there's a, there's a lot of things going on and we have, getting a lot of good reviews. We are coming up to our eighth eighth conference and we've started very humbly, but there's an, there was a need out there because we have a lot of interest, so it naturally keeps on going. And it keeps growing too, yes. right? Yes, with, with yeah. uh, we're roughly 160 to 200 people together each year, so it's not a huge thing, but it's, like I said, it's kind of focused, but you know, if you're out there seeking information, so, that's basically, I do a lot of traveling, promoting cheese, and consider myself almost, in marketing, it's about education. Educating the sales staff with numerous distributors, store level, and it's very important for us to interact with the people that eat the cheese and sell the cheese. It's all about the community of cheese. We have the microbes in the cheese. We also have the microbes uh, in the people moving around and we need the whole community. I like to always, it's my key thing to thank everybody that is a part of our program. Thank you for everything you do for us. If we all get to eat, if we all work together, we all get to eat dinner, even the cows. <laughs> I might have to <laughs> quote you on that, I love that. that. that that's, it's a line that works because we cheese is really condensed sunshine. Sunshine yeah, on grass, you know, the whole way through right. to the end consumer. And it's just, it's so neat when you follow that whole process through. And then the health benefits and all of these kind of things, it's a condensed energy. Yes. And yes. Yesterday we were hearing about it being the perfect food. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody, is, whatever you're promoting, everybody is always thinking they have the perfect food. Mm -hmm. But I go back to my grandfather. In German, he would say, temperance in all things. If you have, and it just comes to me that if we eat multiple different things and maybe a little bit leaning pretty hard on cheese because it is, it's very condensed. We can eat meat, but having a Swiss background, I'm a meat eater, but I'm also a cheese eater. We don't have to kill the animal to enjoy, enjoy the cheese. Yeah. So, big, big yeah. Deal. Okay, but so go ahead. Go ahead. On, uh, on the fats, you know, traditionally we were all about vegetable the last 50 years or whatever it is, it's right. all been about vegetable fats. And the more studying I do, 
the more I read with the new studies coming on, it's not where it's at. Okay, Rufus, you just brought something up to me, uh, to the audience and to me, that's really important. And last night, you and I were talking about the big fat surprise Lena Teichelt's book. You asked me if I've read it, and of course I have numerous times. And I met a few people at the Conference 3 here that really brought that book up, and I did not ask them, which tells me that the people, the cheese people, many of the cheese people are interested in the topic of, and you mentioned the, the fat in food. What, what do you think is the most important message in a book the, like that? The, the most important message that I get out of this is how political our food system ends up being, and it is downright disgusting having grown up a farmer, having been coming from a long farm background. I can trace, trace it back 20 generations into the, the Swiss Alps, and we were farmers. And, you know, we've survived this long on doing a lot of what was considered in the last 50 years wrong things that have, it, it, has, it isn't wrong. Tradition tells it is, isn't wrong. So I come back to some of these things need to be done in temperance, but if it's a most, you've got to eat what you have. And if you're in the Swiss Alps, you don't eat your animals, you eat the cheese. Right. So. No, I just did, did an interview with Carolyn Hosteller about the- Great Carol. Uh, did you happen to see the video? No, I did not see the video. I know uh, Carolyn and she's a great girl, okay, great girl. and see what you think, because we are doing a series of um, videos to talk about Adopt and Out. Oh, but coming back to the food thing, I just, it's very near. I love history, and I love really love food history. Mm. So, I love I love the foodie side of it. I come from a family of crazy tasters. We had to dissect our food. You dissect could, your food. Yeah, you take it apart, and too much <laughs> salt, or you know, how can it be improved? It dry, drove my young bride completely bonkers, because. And every one of my sons does it to their wives. They they care about the food. You don't just eat what's put on the table. Yeah. You you pull it apart and think that well you know maybe this could be improved and yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Well, that's really interesting. You have a great story. My husband Dan told me that that I would enjoy talking to you, and he was he was right. I have enjoyed yeah. talking. To so, I think my time's up. But yeah. We can talk to the cows come home. <laughs> right? Yeah. If they can find the room. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Rufus. It's You're been welcome. a pleasure. Yeah.